so here we have waves in x which is a way for you to mix your music using only headphones you can even track the uh head movements there either using your webcam or using the bluetooth tracker that uh, fits on the uh, middle of your headphone band and you can always have a consistent place to uh mix your music in no matter where you are maybe it's late at night or something and you still need to get something done no problem you always have that emulation of a room with uh, waves in x and there's a lot of features in this so we're going to cover those pretty quickly but depending on the component that you have loaded uh, will depend of course on the exact features that you have so here is a 7.1 uh, surround version of nx and in that case we have the center trim for the ambience of that center channel and then we have our rears and our sides and then we have our lfe content or sub content uh there as well which of course you're not going to have that in the stereo version and i'm guessing the stereo version is, is what uh, most people are going to use pretty simple operation overall double click a speaker to turn it off double click it to turn it uh on pretty simple uh, select a bunch of them double click turn those on or off real quick and then real quick here on the uh, head tracking and then we'll go uh, to just the uh, stereo version so here with the head tracker you can use any webcam that you want and it will track those uh those head movements so you move side to side of course it's going to change and update uh in your speakers there or in your uh, headphones as well so you move around you see it uh, tracks the yaw the pitch the roll uh the x the y and even the z and if you don't want you know the x and the y and the z you can lock that down so that way if i'm doing sort of x y stuff it's not going to go back and forth right but you can still move your head you also have the ability down here to set the circumference of uh of your head just uh click this button here it will open up your pdf file and then measure your head there measure all that stuff input that down here in either centimeters or inches for the best uh for the best experience and make sure you save that as a preset and then you can always recall that and have that uh, set up and ready to go and if you're using the head tracker once you get seated or positioned wherever you're going to really sit most of the time then you hit that sweet spot button it will position you perfectly in the uh, room and then track your movements you know as you can see it places this box over your face so that is waves in x uh, virtual mix room again this is this is the surround component or the 7.1 surround component there are other surround components available as well but let's head over to the stereo version and then we'll check out uh, more of how this virtual mix room sounds all right so here we are with the stereo component we're in studio one in this case just put it right on your master and that's really all there is to it of course be sure to bypass it or remove it from your master before you bounce out otherwise you're gonna of course have the emulation of speakers uh you know included with your bounce and that is not uh, not what you want so whenever we open this up you can see we have the sweet spot so let's go ahead and make sure we're where we want to be just hit the sweet spot puts us right there always click this again if you need to know about your head models we already know load up my profile and now i'm pretty much uh, ready to go but we do have a few more things down here like the headphone eq this is pretty cool. So right now I'm wearing a pair of Sennheiser HD 280 Pros. We'll set this to none for right now. So let's just listen to just this bass right here. All right, so that's with it on. If I just bypass it. Of course, we're not getting any crosstalk of the room. Let's go ahead and turn it back on. Pull that room ambience down a bit. And then we can use our headphone EQ. So of course, all headphones are a little bit different and they have modeled all of these uh, different headphones right here. And this will load an EQ curve for those headphones. Now, it, if you don't have any of these exact headphones, it's suggested that you just leave this to none and, uh, and turn it off. All right, so we're gonna load up the 280 Pro and one more time, listen to it off, then we'll turn it on. All right. Let's go ahead and turn on our headphone EQ. So of course,
course, depending on the headphones that you're wearing, you may or may not hear that. But uh, the 280 Pros, they're great headphones. They're really great for checking dialogue and vocals and all kinds of stuff like that. But they also lack a lot of low end. You know, they're really good for checking things. You're going to find things with the 280 Pros that you won't find with other headphones. They, they almost sound bad. They're actually that good at picking up things in audio, especially dialogue that you wouldn't hear uh, in a room or with other, with other headphones. Uh, but again, they do lack that low end. So we can also just check that EQ curve that has been loaded up for us just by choosing our EQ solo here, and that bypasses the room. So as you can see, I can change our speakers. Nothing changes because the room is bypassed. We're just hearing that uh, headphone EQ right now. So let's bypass all of NX. And that's just the straight headphones. Okay, back on. Then in this case, we get that increased low end. So again, if you have these any of these specific headphones, uh, you should go ahead and use your headphone EQ. If you don't have any of these specific headphones, then just leave it turned off. I'm going to uh, have it on right there. Also up here, we can change the size of the interface. So if you want it a bit bigger, you can do that, or even a little bit smaller, you can do that as, uh, as well. So again, here with the stereo component, we don't have the, you know, the rears or the sides, but let's go ahead and we'll play with this with the uh, bass track here, okay? Comes right down the middle, you know? Spread it out. Bypass it. Back on. All right, then of course we can rotate our speakers. Check it behind you, sides. Just alt click, set those to the uh, defaults more room ambience, almost like you're really far back in the room, or you have a very large room. Somewhere around 17 is the uh, default for that. All right, let's check it on uh, some drums here. And whenever you set up your your perfect room here, the room, the consistent room that you want to mix in over and over and over again, you can save all of this here as a preset up here. Just choose save, save your preset. And of course, load it, uh, load it over here. There's a few presets in here, more space at the back, et cetera, et cetera, at your back right there. There's my preset set up and ready to go. So that way, again, no matter where you are, you're, you're set up, you're ready to go in your consistent room. So that way your mixes will be more consistent. You'll get the crosstalk of a room. And the only thing you need to use is headphones. And over here in our plugin list, you can see, here's all the different versions of NX, all the different components. So you have a 5.0 component, 5.0 to stereo, 5.1, 7.1, and uh, Ambisonics right there as well. And of course, the uh, stereo component right there, which is the one that we are using right now. So that's basically everything about Waves in X. Let's hear it on a uh, full mix now.
you can definitely hear the, the crosstalk of the room of the speakers with this on. Which, of course, is the purpose of, uh, of Waves Index. Again, to give you that uh, perfect mixing space so you can uh, interpret, uh, hear what your mix would sound like in, uh, you know, in, in an actual room. So it translates well on speakers. And, uh, of course, check your mix on headphones. Bypass this. Check it on straight up headphones. Then, of course, make sure it works in your mix room as well. It's usually on sale for only $29. Of course, I'll have a code down there to save you 10% on any uh, Waves plugins. But for $29, if you don't have a place to mix that's consistent, you don't have good, uh, you know, good speakers or a good room, or you live in an apartment and you're not able to you know, record or mix whenever you want, you, have, you, know, you can't be too noisy or whatever, then something like this would be uh, you know, a good investment to at least check your mix on to mix with, to mix at 2 a.m and not, uh, you know, not bother anyone at all, because again, you're gonna have that consistent room to mix in, so you know that your mixes will always translate well wherever you go. All right, so that is Waves NX Virtual Mix Room, mixing that million dollar studio, that perfectly tuned studio using only headphones.